Live Storm Tracker Doppler Radar, sponsored by Homeland Bank. And now, Storm Tracker Doppler Weather with meteorologist Chase Ward. We are still dealing with continued cloud cover across a good chunk of the region, but the good news is we hadn't had any light drizzle or reduced visibility like it was yesterday, and temperatures haven't been too bad. They've been mainly within two to three degrees of each other, mainly upper 50s, but a lot of places already started to reach into the lower 60s. Here's a live shot out towards downtown El Dorado, where visibility has dropped down to about four to five miles in that direction, but really it hasn't been that bad enough to make much of a big impact. Current temperatures 57 degrees right now in El Dorado, and winds are currently Currently calm out of the northeast. We're at 58 in Monticello, 59 in Camden, 58 in Ruston, and 60 in Monroe, which a good chunk of the Arkham is even stretching out towards the Arkitex area, mostly within three to four degrees of each other. And you can kind of thank the cloud cover, which has been responsible for keeping these temperatures uh, where they are this morning. Visibility is down to four miles in El Dorado, but hasn't really been a problem at all along the I-20 corridor, and even for areas just down to our south. So won't expect much of a huge impact to your morning commute. Doppler radar, not really check anything going on and don't anticipate much today and as we go into much of the region we're going to see temperatures stay mainly uh, mild so if you're heading out the door the only thing you're really going to need is a light jacket you're not even going to need the sunglasses or really an umbrella and it's not even cool enough to need anything warmer than the light jacket so if you got any outdoor plans it's not going to be bad if you're going to do it this morning we'll be upper 50s this afternoon we'll be warming up much more mild we could see a few peaks of sunshine around four o'clock as we reach into around 70 71 for our afternoon highs now satellite rain Radar shows the low pressure center down to our southeast, which is really what's been responsible for our weather pattern uh, the past couple of days. It's spilled in a lot of moisture content at the lower levels of the atmosphere. So we're going to continue to deal with the cloud cover across a good chunk of the region going even into tomorrow because we'll have a frontal boundary that's going to be pushing in out of the northwest, which will increase cloud cover once again. Now, we're not expecting anything widespread or scattered as far as rain tomorrow, but we could still see some patchy activity right along the boundary layer. And once it moves over us late Friday evening, going into Saturday, high pressure will start moving in out of the northwest and we're going to see winds uh, shift more so out of the north. We're going to see drier and much cooler air filter in behind that front, but it's going to be really cool. We could be sitting in the upper 30s going into early Sunday morning next week. So to finish out today, the cloud cover, it's going to stay in place. We'll stay mid to upper 60s overnight tonight. Clouds, they're not going to go anywhere. Going into early tomorrow morning around 4 to 5 o'clock, we could see some light uh, drizzle and some light patchy activity and that will continue even as we go into tomorrow afternoon, winds will st uh, stay mainly out of the north. And then as we go later on into the weekend, that's when that dry air starts moving again. Clouds will completely uh, dissipate, dissipate, and we will see much clearer conditions as we kick off this weekend. Now, it's been a whole lot. We're looking at five to six hundred of an inch of rainfall for the region. So not really a whole lot to talk about. This is going to be traceable amounts. We'll see how 71 degrees for this afternoon as the cloud cover continues. All right, we'll see a low 60 degrees. Not going to be as cool. And tomorrow, that's when We'll see those patchy showers. Uh, winds will still remain calm out of the north. As we go into next week, we will be starting off in the upper 30s Sunday morning. But by Sunday evening going into Monday, we'll see another system bring us a return of showers and some thunderstorms. Now, some of these storms do have the possibility of being strong, bringing with them gusty winds. We'll have to keep an eye on that as we head into the Thanksgiving week. By Wednesday, skies will be clearing and will be much cooler, upper 50s. And we could still remain on the cooler side as we go into the Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving holiday next week.